Hey everybody, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your Art Sherpa, and today is unbelievably day 24 of Acrylic April. So many of you with us have done 24 paintings, possibly plus prep work. You guys have been working it if you're beginning the journey now. There's really no time frame on this, like uh, Acrylic April was uh, just for, for a fun joke. <laughs> so you can do this in any month that you want. Today we're going to be painting this adorable Persian cat in acrylic paint. We're going to be doing this easy. We're going to be doing this loose. We're going to be doing this expressive. If you check the description below, especially if you're a beginning painter, go to that website link because there's extra information for you there and resources. There's reference photos like what you see taped above. There is value studies. There is a gridding so you can see how to use the gridding method to get an image on your canvas. There's traceable and very importantly, just in case you found this video and you don't have all the colors I'm using, there's exchanges of colors so that you can just trade it for something that you do have and still enjoy the painting process. On the mic is my husband, John. Hey guys. He is tracking me with the cameras, uh, keeping me on mission for like prep works and things. He's really been our honorary acrylic April um, dude. And I really want to thank Susan for that fabulous certificate that popped up in acrylic April group today. That was just like, it really touched my heart. I made it a banner on my personal page. Thank you so much. You guys have made this journey fantastic. The community you have made of support during this has been incredible. Let's just jump on into this cat and send each other a lot of love everywhere across the universe because it has been amazing. Oh, and just real quick, we're going to put a special universal hug out there for Paula, who's ha pa Paula P, who's having a little hard time today. There's some special stuff, so there's some wishes out there for you. Yeah. Okay. Good positivity out there. Just keeping it up, keeping it light. Are you ready, babe? I'm ready. Okay. So we see him. I've used the gridding method to get him in. And if you'd like to try to do that, it's a great way if you don't draw to learn how to place objects on a canvas. But remember, the traceable is okay, too. Mm. I have uh, not my full color palettes today. Today, I'm only going to be using my burnt sienna, my Naples yellow, my cad yellow medium, my vermilion, my titanium white, my Mars black, and my phthalo green. I don't know. This cat needs a magenta. I mean... I mean the truth is, is that once you've done a value study, you can paint the cat all in magentas and purples in any colors you want. It literally doesn't have to be the colors that you see. But we're going to do the colors that we see. <laughs> Mostly because <laughs> day 24, and I, I don't know, I'm feeling that imaginative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my number eight Cambridge, and this is just a nice, br scruffly bright. I'm going to be um, getting a little of my burnt sienna and my Mars black together as you do and i'm going to use this to make his sort of dark ish little markings so you can you'll see me very loosely kind of coming along here and taking advantage of the stiffness of our brush where i catch these little value bits so oftentimes in acrylic painting it's nice to have a chance to you know catch like your dark values and your light values and then sort of fill in around to just help yourself get the effects that you're looking for. And it's a little process, my friend, but fun nonetheless. So that's what I'm going to be looking for is like little places that this little color might be sort of appreciated. And that the colored ground just helps give you a little bit of uh, undercover undercoverage because as I, as I zoom in here, you can see the, the brush strokes just sort of show through a little bit. Right. So you'll have a background on most acrylic surfaces show through in a colored ground, a properly applied color brown. There's a lot of misinformation about a color brown ground. Um, I would say William Kemp and Michelle Thurberg would be who you want to go to is like for studio information like that. Mm. And I can verify that that's correct. If you do a wash with acrylic, I'm coming right here to add this little dark value, yeah. this little stripey as I wiggle it back and forth. What that does in your acrylic paint, if you do washes, is it doesn't bind to the canvas and it undermines all of the layers above it. Uh, if you've ever had that experience where you're painting and it feels like the bottom layer is lifting, that's your ground pulling up. And uh, it is a very frustrating problem and super preventable. Can you, you can see how I'm just wiggling the edge of my brush back and forth, mimicking that sort of fur texture that I have. As we go now he looks like a very angry cat and the other thing that a ground like this will do for you is it gives you a nicer surface 
I'm going to be putting some lighter hair over the top, but for it to really pop, I need to have some darker value. That's what I've got going here. You can you can see this this kitty's been groomed. This kitty would have to be groomed. The little little whiskers have been. Well, trimmed. this face should be. If we had not been groomed, there'd be like tear duct thingies happening <laughs> here, and there would also be like a hot mess coming down the nose. This is true. Just fats. <laughs> That's that that cat. Definitely, I mean, we had a cat like that. Yes, we did. That made my face explode. just explode as we started to learn that you were super allergic to cats. <laughs> I'm going to very dry brush right here, as you can see, just underneath to begin to maybe talk about this area that is a little bit darker. I'm keeping it open and light because I'll be coming over it with hair, and we, we don't want to get too heavy-handed with it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So Neil was asking again. Hi, Neil. Here. So why was uh, Kitty and Surprise paired? Oh, because I just felt like the cat looked like he got some bad news from shot <laughs> He was like, what? He like had that like, you're kidding me. Like, this is like the face your cat makes when you're like, it's vet day. <laughs> That's her face. <laughs> or, no, you can't have any of this cheese. <laughs> Sorry. I think that's because uh, before I was with John, I was very much a cat owner. I had uh, Persians and um, Himalayans. And so I have many memories. Of those kitties and I think I'm just amusing myself by painting them as you will sometimes do so what you see me doing is adding some deep values that I can build some light hair up on and it will give me some depth that will be wonderful as you have it I'm gonna be doing some stuff with my number four um, round but I just want to start out you know um, trying to work out let me get a little of my yellow and brown together. They almost make an ochre. It's sort of interesting. Almost. <laughs> almost. You can even add a little red. Oh, just pay attention to your blobs of paint, which I didn't do there. Did you see me get right into that black? Did you? Yes. Yeah, so annoying when I do that. Because mm. I'll get to talking to you guys, and then I'm not paying attention, and then I'm like, what? Now I'm going to get some red over here. So this is like sort of putting some orange into my burnt sienna, and I like it. So I'm going to. You'll see it lightens up just a little bit of a value. You may need to go even more into the yellow to really see it. But I'm going to just start to put some of that in here. And you can see that it already starts to inform some of the things about cat hair that we might be seeing. Isn't that cool? Mm. Some there's nothing here. cool about cat hair. Not for you. Not for you. You do not have an easy relationship to cat hair. <laughs> yeah. An easy relationship to cat hair would be the understatement. <laughs> of the year? Well, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a pretty big one. It's been a challenge for you. I'm just adding this sort of warmer color to things, and you can see I'm just mimicking that pattern and revealing that pattern as we go. Why? Because we love a kitties. I'd say my face resembles Mount Vesuvius in your cats. This cat is like, say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you give me bad news. <laughs> For my name is Fluffy and I am destroyer of worlds. <laughs> 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 and that's his owner being surprised. See, it just goes all day. So I'm coming here, and you can see I'm adding little spots. Like, I'm bringing this out. Pay attention to, like, how you're curving that brush stroke. These are the contours of your brush strokes, and a lot of times they will inform what's happening for you. You had laid down a burnt sienna ground? Mm -hmm. Is that what it was? That was a, yeah, it was a burnt sienna, I think. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit of just straight orange. Just straight orange. It's going to be really interesting in this, but that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to come here, and you can see it's quite bright. So in this little bit of space, I may get some colors that are painterly and enjoyable and unexpected, as you are wont to do, because we can. Because you can. Just a little bit. One of the things about being an artist is that you do have the privilege of interpreting your world. 
creatively as you might want to do. Now, whereas you're laying things down and those little bits of, those little pops of color can be quite enjoyable. I'm going to add a little bit of this nose. And then look, I'm going to add a little bit right there on that side. Just trying to get his little bit. And then when I come put his other little nose in, I'll have that cool, like, oh no. That's right. Oh no. Nah, I think I like it brown. I think I like it dark. So that's, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. So it's just about catching that. Now I'm going to get some of these cream colors that he's got, which I think are a lot of fun. And to get the cream color, I think what I'm going to do is take my brown and a scotch of my black. All right. There we go. Wipe that off. And then I'm going to add, look, a bunch of white. But when you ever look at a color, you can ask yourself, what does it need? Maybe it needs more yellow. And that's how you can find a color, even with primaries, is ask yourself, does it need more yellow? Does it need more red? Does it need more blue? That is what you have come to ask yourself. I come under this eye. Now I'll be doing some, again, number four detail work. But I'm going to do a lot of this just using this brush. And it's going to be very important for me. Come right here. Bring that down. First stage of fur. So like if I need more pigment, I'll get it in there and I'll grab some of that. I'm just looking for the, the beige. And see how it's very similar. Hmm. We're going to be just paying attention to how the fur flows on him. That would be the first thing to really this is, be attentive to. I'm, I'm digging this. This is, this is re like mustache cat. He will be mustache cat. Mustache cat. He will be like the Ron Swanson of cats. It could be. I don't know. He'd be like, give me breakfast, eggs, and bacon, and do not be uh, uh, ridiculous in my face. <laughs> I, I don't know. This also could be captain of the SS Tuna who goes to the high seas. And Ron Swanson. Oh, it could be. It'll go either way. <laughs> High sea pirate cat, Ron Swan. I believe that he would be very, very excited about eggs and chickens, just mm. in general, and bacon. But, he has that feeling to me of a cat that really likes him some eggs and bacon. Could be. A little bit here. No, and then just kind of. We're just working those colors to begin with. You got to admit, it's kind of fun. Now, under his chin, I'm going to go to a slightly darker. Can you see I'm grabbing a slightly darker beige? Mm. For here, because it's going to be important when I'm trying to capture the shape of things, that there will be some values. There'll be some Adam family values in here. And you can see I've made it even darker run of fur. Look at that. But pay attention to the way it's flowing. So you'll see me doing even on these dry brushes a lot of S-curves. Can you guys see all the S-curves I'm doing? Yeah, I think so. Those little arabesques. Little curve of linear lines. You can always get a little more brown into a color if you're like, oh, it needs a little more brown, I think. And come down here and look, like, see? Yeah. Just 
when our round gets involved in this, it's going to get real. <laughs> so back into a very, 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 very light color. I haven't rinsed my brush. You know, if I was just noticing there saying uh, th he does have a little bit of a Lorax vibe to him. And, you know, if you threw some magenta at him, he could probably tip into that Loraxian kind of... I can, I can imagine that Loraxes were inspired by Persian cats. First of all, I, I can tell you so many movie monsters and creatures yeah. were Mowgli. Like all the gremlins, like that that started out, all the little Mowgli's, those were Persians. Somebody had a Persian and was just watching their little Persian like snarfle and muffle along going, I can't breathe. And then they were like, that's really cute. Let's make a creature out of it. I have to agree with that. <laughs> Pulling that forward. And already you can kind of see he's got his little thing happening. So these are just these little moments where we're like, all right, let's get into it. See. A little black and gray. And then we come over here. See, I feel like secretly mm -hmm. he opens his mouth and it's fizz gig. It could be fizz gig. <laughs> These things are problems. <laughs> Persian cats are super lovely. They're not like going to get, you know, a mouse <laughs> for you too effectively. Some of them do, but for the most part, they're like, oh, it ran. Mm -hmm. My food ran away and that was exhausting. <laughs> like I would have done something about it, but, you know, it ran. So I don't know what you'd want me to do there. Genetically programmed to chase those things. And yet they just, they go, well... I had one cat that was just like, he walked through puddles and he would just be like so confused about why somebody made such a mess on the ground. Like, y'all need to clean your outdoor house so badly. <laughs> it's often a mess out here. <laughs> he sat outside one squirrel hole so long they forgot he was there. And that's how he caught his one and only squirrel. <laughs> they just forgot he existed. And then you know what he did with it? Hmm. Nothing. He was like, this has not got a can opener on it, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's what he said. Yep. Yeah. So we're starting to get that. Isn't he starting to be pretty? Yeah, he is. You know, starting to be pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. All right, let me get some red into that. Give me a little yellow. Let's... Make sure we're coming in here with those little colors. I want to make sure that I've got it. Markings are a big deal. Okay. I'm just having too much fun is what it is. So when you have this sort of basis of cat in, right? Yeah. You got your little basis of cat. I'm going to grab my um, brush here. And I'm going to get, first I'm going to go into my black. All right. And I'm going to do a couple of things, like on the top of the, the nose. I'm going to make sure I've got that there, that little M. And then... Gonna make sure I've got some little nostrils happening here, like they do, because they do have them. They do. I like the little noses. A little bit of exaggeration there. Just a nice little line over the top. Now I may have to come from the left and down because of my stroke strength is uh, one direction. So I always have to think about that, my stroke strength. All right, I'll add a little bit of white to that to make it just a little more gray. And then let's come under here. A little bit of that gray line, right? The yeah. thin gray line. 
I'm surprised at how fast the fur just... Oh, there's a little more fur we're going to do, but this is just... I mean, we could be finished there. I feel like I got more fur in me, though. I got to warn you. I feel like there's more fur in me. The fur is in me, dude. I'm going to take a little bit of my green and black. Come up underneath this lid. All under here. And then I'll go ahead and get into some of my brown. You can go ahead and grab some of your yellow and the brown. Just a little start to an eye. There we go. Just a little start to an eye that we're starting to think about. Now, while this is all having a rest, I'm going to get a little of my brown and a good bit of my red together. I'm going to come right here and work that in. And then I will go ahead and get some yellow on here. Shade that half. Shade that other half, leaving a dark center line. Can you see how that little nose popped in? Yeah. I'm going to take a little of my black and yellow, as you do, black and yellow. Get some white into it. I'm going to find places where I'm very carefully talking a bit about the fur. If y'all don't mind. Not at all. I like the fur. See this seems the... to be an interesting conversation you're having here in fur. I am. I'm just very into that. And I like, oh, let's, let's, let's have a little talk about fur. Fur, 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 fur. Because we have a, I'm going to grab some of my little Naples yellow here and I'm going to come little bit to the inside of this eye. Grab a little more enables yellow. I'm going to be bringing this over. You can come in a little bit. A little more of that. Fun stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to check on your posture? Am I doing okay? <laughs> Are you doing okay over there? I don't know. I feel okay, but I don't know you're, if I was like in the way of the camera. No, you're in the eye zone. So I know you're dialing in, getting ready to do your... I'm going to keep adding uh, white where I need to to this, right? So like right here, this is quite light. Get some nice light colors going. And we know this here, see how we're just kind of creating a little calligraphy, kind of mark here where this fur is. And those little implied calligraphy style marks, they really do a lot for us. We're trying to talk about the flow of something. So we're getting a lighter value. We can 
you're like, oh, some of it comes right here and some of it comes right there. You can always get a nice lighter bit. Put one right here. Put one right here. This is fun for me. I cannot stop. And that is that is the danger of a wonderful furry face, is it's just almost a meditation sometimes when you paint them because you're like oh, this is so much fun yeah you can see we're doing like the little long ear hairs that are happening mm -hmm. isn't it good that we added that dark value so we could see them Come here and add a little bit of highlight. See how we got that? Look at that. I'm sorry, it's fun. I know you love doing these. I really do. You make me so pleased. So why did you add that little uh, redness to his eyes? Oh, because we, we're uh, in the center here or all around? Oh, in the pupils. Oh, there's there's no center in the pupils. I just haven't painted it in the black. Oh. So it's not happened the way you might feel it has happened. I'm going to get a little of my Naples yellow and my white together. That was just the underpainting left behind. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Miskatonic cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> If it was, this would be this painting would have a very, very sad ending. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone would go, Whoa, it blew my mind. <laughs> so let's get some of this fur talked about down below. The neat thing about the fur is there's a bit of the gray into it, right? Because it's a bit in shadow. But that doesn't mean that we can't, you know, give it some talk through and I'm really loving how those little hairs are coming in to give him so much personality. Well, and you've got to do this because this, this happens. So if you can take this time to see how we're making the hair. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a whole bunch of videos. If, if, if this type of thing is challenging, I actually did a whole bunch of videos on how to do fur. You did. That's right. Yeah. Just so it wouldn't feel like that. Let me come here and you've done any of the hair or fur videos, you'll be like, oh yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this. But if you've never done it, it can seem very strange the way the curves follow in line with each other. I think this is going to be a very popular little... To form layers. Painting. Layers. He's super cute. Isn't he super cute? Now one of the fun things that I can do is I can bring a few little... Mm. Isn't that cute? Yes. Just a little, little touches sometimes make a big little difference. You can go ahead and get a little black and brown in there. Okay. Look at that. And then you just come back in with a little actual black. So this one has some green in it, so that's a bit of a problem, but we're not going to worry about that. Won't probably even see it. Let's add some of this to the pen eye up here. I get a little bit away from me. I got to trim that back in. Because sometimes they will get away from you. I'm not sure if changing from red eyes to black eyes is making him look any less intense. Is he intense looking? He's got that thousand yard stare at you. Well, he's surprised. You gave him some bad news. Stop giving him bad news and he won't look at you so mad. Learn cat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, only thing I know about cats is they need to stay off my convertible top. 
you have some strong feelings about the cats and your convertible top. I'm going to take some of my green and my yellow together. And so you get almost this emerald. A green-eyed cat? Mm. We're going to just give this some green in there, right? Just a little bit. There's a little green. Now we're going to get some as we come out. But, interestingly enough, some yellow. There we go. See that little transitional color? Mm-hmm. Like kind of like an olive green. I'm going to come out here. Olive green, come out here. I'll definitely come in here. I'm adding some little highlights that inside. As you do, it just makes a little difference. I know it's being fussy, but what are you going to do? I love it. Okay. So then, some yellow and some red. Gonna bring this through here. Now I'm gonna do the same right here. Now we've got a little bit of that glow in there, right? Mm. Maybe a little of my cad yellow hue in my Naples. A little bit of that right there. It's always fun to add these little pops of super highlights to an eye. Yeah, on on a cat, on anything, it's just an enjoyable bit of kit. Now I'm going to take my brown and my black again. And you just come around here, and you're like, nope. Everything's got kind of this little dark inner light. Come up over the top, creating little shadows. You don't like him now or nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm loving it. He's almost done. We're really close. We're going to make a little bit of a kind of a Highlight here in the eye on this outer edge. So we've got a little of that going. I'm going to soften this and make this make a little softer sense. There we go. Yeah. Now. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a cat. He is a kitty kitty, isn't he? Come across here. He's so cute. He has some cute little moments, doesn't he? On one hand, I wanna, I wanna say, soft kitty, warm, warm kitty, kitty, little ball. Of no, fire. this cat says, no, you do not sing to me like that. Well, I mean, he's trapped in the painting, so yeah. I'm adding a little highlight on the eye there. Man. Those eyes are turning out. With me, you get a lot of eye class. <laughs> <laughs> so, signature. Oh, my gosh. Really? That's mm -hmm. just. Wow. Wasn't he a lot of fun? That was just. Now, I'm inclined. I don't often do the whiskers. If I was going to do them, maybe with a Posca pen or something else, they can be a lot of problem. Mm. 
and you'd want to have like a fluid paint and a high detail brush like a monogram liner and golden's like fluid paints to do it so sometimes i just don't want to do it because mm. it it just isn't going to add anything and so that's why if you're like where's all the whiskers no dude it's a mistake whiskers are a trap <laughs> <laughs> they're a trap dude wow because we all know he's a cat. We have whiskers. It can get crazy fast. You do all this perfect work and then... That's so, amazing. Do two of them and then practice whiskers on one, but don't do it on your main one. <laughs> all right. Woo. Okay. He's a pretty boy. He is. He's a pretty boy. So this is our last uh, live until the 30th, but mm -hmm. the videos will be going up clock, 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 both on YouTube and on Facebook during their usual times. Um, you'll be able to come by on YouTube and chat with each other. So that will still be there. It'll just be uh, pre recorded. Um, and you'll see me going through different stages of the journey for myself because there's that I can't paint stage. And oh, that, yeah. oh my gosh, nothing works stage. And so that's all still happening for me. So that'll be fun for you guys. To and watch. there was the stage where we were like, wait a minute, we're doing three of these a day so that we can get ahead. Yeah, you'll see it, man. Yeah, it, it got weird. Um, but, we, so, but, you, but we did it. But we did it. So you can we do did it. it. We did it. So you can do it at home. Yes, you can. We are doing a daily painting. This is the first acrylic 30 day daily painting that's ever been done like this with this larger of a community out there. Thank you. Guys. I, I love you guys doing originals. I love you guys uh, doing the, you know, the prompts that are following other YouTubers. Dude, search the hashtag. There are people doing it. Go on Instagram, go on Facebook. Come here, search the hashtag because it's not just me. There's a whole bunch of people doing stuff. Give them some love too. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And I want to see you at the easel really soon. Bye. Bye.